welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Hey Paris's first sleep paralysis video that she came out with at the beginning of the month. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Cheyenne, and I make videos about the unexplained things in life. So if you guys are into that, go ahead and hit subscribe and become a member of the Space Babe family. If you guys don't know who Hey Paris is, she is a storytime YouTuber. She's super funny. I love her videos. I've been a subscriber of hers for a very long time, and she usually makes comedy videos. She's not a big spooky YouTuber like I am, and recently for Halloween and all of that, she made a few videos about her struggles with sleep paralysis, and she told a few stories kind of explaining her terrifying experiences while having sleep paralysis. So she made two different videos in this series. If you guys want me to do a part two about her part two video, just let me know in the comments. This video is going to be my thoughts. Of course, you guys know I am a paranormal YouTuber, so I am going to be determining if I think that what she experienced was paranormal or not. On this channel, I love to believe in things that most people do not believe in, but I definitely want to debunk things that are not paranormal. I am here to seek the truth above anything else. So before I get into her experience, I'm going to quickly explain what sleep paralysis is. So the definition of sleep paralysis is a feeling of being conscious but unable to move. It occurs when a person passes between stages of wakefulness and sleep. During these transitions, you may be unable to move or speak for a few seconds up to a few minutes. Some people may also feel pressure or a sense of choking. So basically, your body thinks that you're still asleep, but you are conscious. You can think, you can see, but you cannot move. And quite a few people experienced hallucinations while they are in this state. So in Paris's experience she says she wakes up she's in sleep paralysis and she sees a figure in the corner of her room kind of rocking back and forth and it's a very scary figure the one that she explains where the shoulders are kind of high up and it's black figure can't really make anything out um, and then so she tries to close her eyes and kind of wake up and then when she opens her eyes again she sees this figure right in front of her face with red eyes and she can tell that the face is blinking because the red eyes are uh, disappearing and coming back um, and then she experiences this entity or whatever dragging her up and out of bed and then kind of around her bed and then throwing her back onto her bed and she wakes up in a different position than what she had originally been in and she explains that when she's being dragged around the bed that her leg hits the bed while she's being dragged around um so then she wakes up everything's okay uh but then she notices a bruise on her leg the next day so her explanation for this to kind of <laughs> keep her you know not scared is that she was sleepwalking um, because she had experienced sleepwalking once before in her life and so she thinks maybe that's why she has that bruise which I think is very possible. So I want to state now that sleep paralysis is something that is kind of a science mystery. There's just not a lot of answers as to why we hallucinate so much during sleep paralysis. I also want to say that I personally have never experienced sleep paralysis. So I am not an expert. Just the thought of sleep paralysis is so terrifying, um, but I am more of an expert of the paranormal side of this. So that's kind of why I'm stating my thoughts. But sleep paralysis is just not, I feel like personally, as studied as it should be. And there's a lot of things that are unanswered in sleep paralysis. The fact that she was actually physically harmed during this whole episode of whatever it was, um, that concerns me. That is the only thing that makes me think that this is paranormal in any way. I honestly am leaning more towards that this wasn't paranormal. While I was doing my research on sleep paralysis, I found that people can have the sensation of being dragged 
out of bed or that they are flying. So the fact that she felt those sensations, it is something that is common in sleep paralysis. Now, if we're going to be talking about her second video she made, I have some different thoughts about that experience. So if you guys want that, like I said, let me know. Um, a lot of people in her comment section were saying that they thought it was an astral projection type of experience. I do not think it was astral projection because Paris did not see herself um, sleeping in the bed. She only saw her boyfriend. So I do not think it's astral projection, um, but I mean anything's possible. If this was paranormal and she was actually dragged up and out of bed, I think she would definitely have had some sort of a bruise on her arm as well because you have to have a lot of strength to pull someone up and drag them around and for whatever it was to have that tight of a grip on her, it definitely would have left a bruise as well in my opinion. So. I don't know if this was paranormal. I definitely think it was just a sleep paralysis episode. Um, it's definitely strange for sure, but almost everyone who experiences sleep paralysis sees something scary in their room, hallucinates, and when you're hallucinating, you can literally see anything. So I don't think she really has anything to worry about. She is someone who does not want any of that stuff in her life. Contrary to me, I bring this kind of stuff into my life, but she blocks it out and I definitely think that that works. Um, if you do not want anything to do with the paranormal and you, you know, let that be known, I definitely think that that works. So if she doesn't want any of that stuff in her life, I definitely think she's doing the right thing by putting it out into the universe and everything. So I really don't think she has anything to worry about. I don't think that this is too paranormal in nature. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below, of course. Let me know if you want to see a part two to her part two. And yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying this new style of video that I have. And let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!